guys, welcome to a new exciting video. Today I'm teaching you how to simply but effectively key out footage which is captured on a green screen. This method though works for every backdrop, green is the most usual one so I proceed with the green screen video. There is still a few things which are good to keep in mind when it, and if you're filming in the same circumstances as I was, that will say outside. Alright, remember your usual only light source is the sun on the sky, so aim to shoot on a cloudy day. Why? Well, the clouds works like a softbox for the sun. In other words, it will soften or eliminate all the shadows. When green screening outside, the shadows are your worst enemy. So, for example, what you can do is move further away from the green screen so possible shadows won't reach the screen. It's a very common technique used in the film world. You don't need exactly an official Hollywood green screen to be able to start keying footage, no. I have here just two pieces of green fabric and then I just sew them together. It's not prettiest, but it does the job. Then I just rig on green screen the green fabric on the wall with some duct tape. And remember, if you can't get it stay on the wall with duct tape, you're simply not using enough duct tape. <laughs> Okay guys, alright, let's jump inside After Effects and kick this effect on its pixelized nuts. Hey guys, welcome to After Effects, the beautiful software that makes our dreams come true. At least I hope so. So, today I will show you something really, really cool. So, here you can see myself dancing on a beach. It was a beautiful day, I loved it there and sun was shining and have to send some proof to my girlfriend I never had that I couldn't get there in time so yeah but sadly I need to break the news that I am not on a beach I know I know it's sad I I just can't help it so I am on a green screen so green fabric and some magic and I'm on a beach pretty darn cool so the only difference with this is I used a plugin called Primat Keyer from Red Giant. It's an awesome plugin for keying out footage. It's so damn cool, but it costs. It costs real money. So, and everyone doesn't have that. So, we are. You, I'm doing my tutorial of how to keep footage the best way by just using the inbuilt plugins and After Effects, like the key lights, which I'm using today. So, let's see how to do this awesome stuff. So first, find locate your, your video in After Effects and drag it down to the new comp button right there. Awesome. And now we can see some cool stuff. We can see myself having a really, really boring time in my, at my house. Okay. So let's pick up some good green screen right there. Let's use the shortcut B on your keyboard like banana and let's cut. So the, the comp starts there and let's just take like four seconds. We don't need any more for this demonstration and hit the N keyboard next to the M keyboard button and we can like trim it down even more and then right click and go to trim count to work area and this is pretty cool pretty cool okay time to do some more cool stuff so we don't need all this like the house parts and the chairs my sexy chair served my a lot of years love it so let's mask out myself from here so hit G on your keyboard or go from the toolbar right there and then let's just make a, a really simple mask like this and boom we have cut myself out pretty cool so let's just take a look so I'm not moving outside from the green screen and no I'm not because I'm awesome all right, so now we need some background. So what I was using in the original example, I was using some stock footage of some beach with waves. And I really recommend use if you're green screening 
um, like yourself in another environment, try to get something with movement like real time uh, stock footage and not images. It looks far more real, but if you're doing studio work, an image is just fine. So here I got like my beach stuff, so I put it underneath myself, but we can't see anything because it got uh, this really sexy fade in. So let's just scrub it, I just click and hold and drag it left and right to so scrub it like this and hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale properties and let's just scale it up so we are having like this cool stuff, awesome. So now we could move our clip like this, let's move it down so our feet are not visible, like you know, you know. And now it's time to key out this bad boy. And remember, it's a really, maybe it's pretty obvious, but if you're keying out, really avoid having clothes. We are having like green tints or green clothes because that will basically make you invisible. And if you're having like turquoise, you're having a hard, harder time to key out your footage. So I was using yellow, it's towards the green, but it's not dangerous. So because I'm smart, I use smart clothes. Hey. All right, then go up to effects and presets and type in key light and key light 1.2 and then just drag and drop it to your clip you want to key out. And here comes a really nice scissor. I really love it. So let's see what we can do. So use here for the screen color. You go up here and type this little picker tool and go and pick a green or a place with the most efficient color, like which is spread most of, of the screen. So I think this is a pretty good one. So right away it does a okay job, takes out me pretty good. But you can see my t-shirt is pretty ruined. It was nice and yellow, now it's orange and it's basically transparent because it's towards the green. But let's fix that because here's some settings that we can use to make this magic even better. So okay, then we go to screen gain, pump that up to 125, go to screen balance and hit it to zero. Then go to screen pre-blur and put it to 1.6. Awesome stuff. Then we go to screen mat and put the clip black to zero, clip white to 85. Then we go to clip rollback, it's zero. Let's have the, the screen shrink to minus one. Um, all right, that looks pretty good. And if you use if you're wondering why I could just think about this, I pre-made these numbers and if you want to change anything, change the view from final result to screen matte or combined matte and you can see the black and white shifting. And the black is basically the, the part of the, sh uh, the video that will remain transparent and the white is the things that we'll see. So if you play with the screen gain, you can see like here we can see some the, the wrinkles on your uh, on the backdrop so i have uh, 125 is the best balance of everything and when you played with these numbers it's time let's go back to final result and there's a few things we want to do we go to edge color correction and I hit enable edge color correction and then up edge hardness to 100 and edge softness to 31 edge glow to minus 45 saturation to 90 it's not optional if you want it you can have it it's not like must have the contrast to 18 and the brightness to 6 all right and if we hit on and off we can see some it improves a bit on the key Alright, so now we have basically keyed out our footage, but it's basically not done yet. We have not made the perfect green screen in here. So now let's make a shadow for me, because if you see, yeah, I'm moving here. It looks, I'm, lo I'm looking real sexy there. 
but we need some shadow we need to sell this effect even better so let's make a shadow casting on the sand here so it looks like I'm moving in real time okay let's go back here to our layers and select our main layer this one here and hit enter key and let's rename it to like main so let's keep everything organized and then let's duplicate it by hitting command D on your keyboard or just go to edit and duplicate like there yeah and then let's rename this one the first one shadow awesome and then what we do we make it 3d well let's hit this little 3d cube button and let's make it so we can move it and affect the clip in three dimensional spaces like that one and then we'll go ahead and change the anchor point just from the 540 here and no that went wrong hit a on your keyboard no yeah a no why ah i'm so sorry. okay y keyboard and put go the y axis all the way down here so the anchor point is all the way down there so hit the y on your keyboard i'm sorry y or hit this button over here and then just try not to move it like this just try to find the y key here so you can move like this and put it right there at the bottom of the layer like that and then go from rotation hit r on your keyboard and then we can do some cool stuff so go for x rotation and make it somewhat like this you can see like i'm trying to match the perspective of the ground and then use the um the y rotation no not y rotation the z rotation a bit like there like this okay it looks pretty terrible at the moment because why is it pointing there because i am making a sun here at this corner that's why it's pointing right this way so now we're having a shadow and why we're doing this uh, using a duplicate layer instead of using a solid is basically now these are having the exact same movement and that is what sells the effect even better. So let's make this up to a shadow, shall we? So go to your shadow layer and go to effects and presets and type in fill and then drop in the fill layer on the shadow layer and that makes it red. Awesome. Okay, that's not what we want. So go ahead and change the color to black, just like that, real simple. And then we can go ahead and take the opacity down like to 25%, just like this, and like that. And then we can go ahead and top in fat effects and preset with fast blur, really nice fast blur, and put it on this mother lava. And now let's blur this out so we're getting just a little blur haze there so we can we can see still moving with it but it's it's not that clear and if you want you can change the shadow mode to like something like overlay if you want some more like a warmer color I think this is a pretty good having an overlay yeah let's use this awesome and all right it's now we are almost done uh, basically we have done our king but there's uh, a few things we want to do here um, let's and this is a really important step if you want to sell this effect in the realism category is to match your your dude or your girl or your dog or whatever you actually king out to your environment so I have to change some colors here so I have to affect this awesome sexy man with some more colors so go in and type in levels I can type levels and go to your main clip so nothing happens there because I have done anything obviously so now I can play with this inputs just a bit like taking a bit more wise brightness like this that looks pretty good they go to red now a bit more reds in the highlights because the sand is more red let's make it a bit more orange by hitting the green just a bit just needs just small touches here and there like that okay 
looks pretty good so now if we turn it on and off we can see we give him a bit more yellowish warmer color it really depends on your background but I just use like this and now let's make um, this isn't a really an optional part if you want um, to sell this even more I usually do an optical flare here if you don't have like visual uh, video copilots optical flares really you should go check that out and they are just awesome and if you if you don't know what it is uh, you want to see how it's done follow along so I hit an, a really nice if you want to create a solid you could go ahead and go to layer new solid but now I will teach you something cool so command Y you got that command Y or control Y if you are on a PC so basically I'm on Mac so if you're on a PC every command uh, when I say command something it's control on PC so duplication is control D and so such on so command Y or control Y and we're creating a new solid and I can just call this flare keep it black and this is ugly this is really ugly we can't work with that so we go to video copilot no let's not look at that go to animation presets go down to video copilot and optical awesome flares hit it there and we can see some flares let's go and let's bring it outside the frame just by moving this one and let's hit up the brightness just a bit so we're getting this nice kind of flare here and you can sell a bit more you can play around with the flare it adds more realism there to have the sun there you don't need it you don't need it really up to you but yeah you can play it around um then I just have to tell you, um, now if we look at this, it looks pretty cool. So, looking at this, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. That loop though. Hey guys, so it's pretty much done here. So, hope you guys liked this tutorial. It was really fun to make and hope you guys learned something new. How to green screen and not using blue screen. Use green screen, it's much awesome, more awesome, calmer. Yeah. Eh, whatever. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, we have reached the end of this project. Hope you all liked it. Remember to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, please let me know what my next project should be in the comment section. Give this video a like if you liked it, and a dislike if you disliked it. Don't forget to hit the awesome subscribe button on the screen right now, then you're a part of the rising VFX family and you are supplied with the coolest Adobe tutorials on the interwebs. <laughs> That's all for this time, see you in the next one, stay awesome!